Hello everyone, thank you for attending class and this is just a quick look at the work we did today and when you go through the video you will see that I've added two slides to suggest to you some extra ideas to think about. Are you ready? Let's begin. Well first of all we thought about the communication about cycling around Doncaster. So we did look at that video. We thought about the keyword bicycle and where the name comes from, the prefix by, which means to, and the suffix cycle, meaning wheel. And the idea was to have a look at Hello, this video. Hello, my name is Vivian. I live in Doncaster. Which you have a QR code for so you can look back at that video when you want to and before you watch looking at the questions that you might get asked one of the important things about the questions was how you framed your answer so do you remember for number one what is the name of the cyclist instead of just saying Vivian use the question to help with the answer the name of the cyclist is Vivian. How often does Vivian cycle? For this question, you can only use the answer, two words, Vivian cycles, and then add your answer. How did she get into cycling? And well done to Michael, who identified what get into means. It means about starting something. And if you listen very carefully to the video, you would know how Vivian got into cycling. And where is Sandal Park? That's quite an interesting one. If you're talking to somebody who's local or lives in Doncaster, you might give a different answer to somebody who doesn't know anything at all about Doncaster and wants to know that Sandal Park is in Doncaster. Any answer that identifies whereabouts is Sandal Park would have achieved. So when you're thinking about that video, we're also thinking about using the QR code, checking back over it, perhaps looking at anything else that has work to do with cycles. And then moving on, after you've looked at the questions, think about retelling the video, and perhaps using the start of those questions to other videos that you look at about people. So what is, how often, how did, and where is a very good sentence starters for questions too. So we did look at bicycles, bikes, cycles, in terms of the word, and this section of the video is just going to show you how we put those words together. So we have cycle, cyclist and cycling. So make sure that you're saying that correctly. We begin with sci. So the C is a soft sounding C when it has the Y. Sci. Cool. So you can see there that the C now makes a cuss sound. So you've got two sounds going on with C. The soft sound C, which is a S, when it's with a vowel or a semi-vowel like Y, and a harder sounding C, K, when it's with other letters. So K, did you see that L sound where your tongue goes to the top of your mouth? So you're actually watching the sound, and the whole word, cycle. And again, after sci, we have two letters together, the C, when it's with, an, with other letters, remember, that are not vowels, it's going to make a harsh C sound, cl. So when it was with the Y, Y is a semi-vowel, so you get the sound s. And when it's with any other letter other than the vowels, you'll get the k sound. So we have their cl, ist. So that word, when you put it all together, is cyclist. So it's cy, cl, ist, cyclist.
placed. And again, when the C is with other letters of the alphabet that are not vowels, it gives a harsh C sound, K. So we've got cl. And we've got ing. And if you add that all together, you've got sci, cl, ing, cycling. So it is really good to know how the sounds work in your words. So when you're looking at cycling, think about the C sound. And if you need more work on the soft C or the harsher C, do let me know. So we looked at a reading sheet to think about sustainability. So make sure you understand the meaning of sustainability, what we do and why we do over a long period of time and how it lasts makes it sustainable. And do make sure that you do know the meaning of the words environment, pollution, economic, petrol and social and you can pause the video and look again at those words or use your sheets to help you with that reading. We looked at creating sentences using the spidergram and using I when we're talking about bicycles or bikes. You can choose which word that you use. It is a little bit more formal to say bicycle, but some of us use that word all the time. And informally, we did hear different words for the word bike. And I like how Michael added a word to describe a bike that I'd not heard. So it was quite good for me to hear that word as well, because we talked about how different areas of the country have different words for the key standard English. So you could have said, I have a bicycle, or I do not have a bicycle and we're trying to avoid yes or no. So thinking about do you want to learn how to ride a bicycle or you might say I do not want to learn how to ride a bicycle. And if you're talking to your friend quite rightly you might say I don't. I don't want to learn how to ride a bicycle. And remember when you're looking at think, what do you think riding a bicycle is? And make sure that you look at your ideas as part of the spidergram. We did look at good and bad things about cycling and read through the ideas and decided which ideas you agreed with, which ideas were good things about cycling and which ideas you disagreed with but you thought were bad things and sometimes you agreed with the comment on the card but it was still a bad thing about a bicycle so it's very important when you're looking at a topic think about what do I think is good or bad about this and remember words that you've read today bicycle bike biking cycling cycle push bike pedal bike and in collecting some answers what do people do or what can they do or what could they do to develop sustainability in Doncaster so that was really interesting to see which sections of making Doncaster a cleaner, nicer and healthy place to live that you all contributed to. And do you know, it's really important to contribute to that. It doesn't mean you have to be doing everything. So reading sounds to finish off with, I've added in some information here for this video because I want you to think about the way that you hear the sounds when we're looking at words. So I want you to think about, do you know the difference between f and f? Look at the different way in which we make that sound. F it's almost putting the lips together f for that. But when we do f, my tongue is in between. F so thought and thought are very different words. For and thaw are very different words. And thumb and thumb 
are very different words. So just a very quick practice for that F sound and the sound. Do think about where the tongue is in the mouth when you're making the sound and you can't see it when you're making the F sound. And to add to the by prefix, the letters that are added to the front of the word, we will give you some extra words just to finish off for watching this video at home. Bicycle, a vehicle with two wheels, so by meaning two, and the cycle having wheels, two wheels, bicycle. Bilingual, do you know what that is? Yes, it's when you're fluent in two languages. So bi meaning two. Bilingual, two languages, fluently. Biannual, I often want to know this when I'm buying things for the garden. How often is that going to appear each year? And I know it's gonna happen two times a year if it's biannual, and that's the same about any event. If it's a biannual event, it means that it's going to happen twice a year, bi meaning two and annual meaning the year. Bifocal, this was really important to me when I went to buy my glasses because the optician said to me, I needed two types of glasses, one for reading and one for long distance driving. I don't want to keep moving my glasses about. So what did he suggest? Bifocal, which is eyeglasses with two optical powers. So the one set of glasses can do two things, but it is obviously more expensive. So finishing off with these words, think about how you read them, how you say them, and any other words that you know that begin with the prefix by. And for me, I'm using a different type of buy now. Bye.